In this video, we're going to learn how to use the isDigit function in C to check if a character is a digit or not. Now the function is defined in the C-type library, so the first thing we'll do is include that library. Up here, we'll have include ctype.h. Then down here, we'll declare a car variable C and we'll assign to it the character seven. So the characters from zero to nine are considered digits and all other characters are not considered digits. Now the isDigit function is going to accept a character as an argument and it's going to return true if that character is a digit and false otherwise. So we can test it with C. While well, here, if isDigit when pass C returns true, then we'll output here printf percent C to output the character C is a digit followed by a new line and we'll output the character C. Otherwise, we'll output here printf percent C is not a digit with a new line and again, we'll output the character C. So we can now save, compile and run the program and we'll get here seven is a digit and that's because the character seven is a digit. And so when we pass it to the function, the function returns true. If we had here instead lowercase z and then we save, compile and run the program, we'll now get lowercase z is not a digit. And that's because the character is not a digit from zero to nine. Now the period or dot character is also not considered to be a digit. So if we save, compile and run the program, we'll get here period is not a digit. Now we can also pass the function characters that are part of strings. So for example, we could have a string here, car s is equal to, and we could have something like code 404. Now in a string, each character is stored at an index. So this first character here, uppercase C, is stored at the index zero. Then this next character here is stored at the index one and so on for the rest of the characters in the string. So we could pass the function, the character in S at the index five. That's going to be this four character here. We could then output S at the index five instead of C here and here. We'll then save compile and run the program and we'll get here four is a digit. If instead we pass the function, the character in S at the index four, that character is the space character, which is not a digit. The function should now return false. We'll try this. We'll copy this here and here as well. And then if we save compile and run the program, we'll get here space is not a digit, which is correct. So the digits are only the characters from zero to nine and that's it. Now to be a bit more precise, if the function is past a digit character, what it's going to return is a non-zero integer and in C, a non-zero integer is considered true. Whereas if the function is past a non-digit character, the function is going to return zero, which in C is considered false. So this is how we can use the isDigit function in C to check if a character is a digit or not. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.